Hi there guys and welcome to another tutorial from iSoftwareDevelopers and XcodeTutorials.com In this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to use a UI switch and also how to use the progress indicator bar so you can create an application that uh, would utilize this as you can see here on the screen. Um, so this could be used for example if uh, you're uploading an image to, uh, to the web um, you may want to show a progress indicator to show how much percent of that has been completed. So we set up our GUI in our main storyboard here. I just dragged in a, um, a progress bar indicator, a UI switch, and I added a, an, an on and off um, label. They were connected over to our header file. You see we have a progress bar which is um, the UI progress view and the UI switch I call on off switch and then I connected the switch to an action which I called switch changed. Up here then I've defined uh, three different float variables so we've got float counter, float progress float and float file size. So go across to our implementation file and you can see here in my view did load I'm setting all of those values to zero. So progress bar dot progress is equal to 0, 0.0. The counter is equal to 0, 0.0. And our progress float is equal to 0, 0.0. So everything is at zero when the view loads. So we'll go down to our action here, which is when the switch is changed. And you can see I have uh, an if statement. So if the on off switch dot on. Now dot on is a Boolean value. So if I was to put the exclamation mark in front of this, that would mean so if the switch is not on. But in this case, I want to say if the switch is on, I'm going to log to our um, debug window that the switch is on. I'm going to set the file size to 90. Now, this um, in, in a real world application, if you had an actual file, let's say an image you're going to upload, you would get um, the, the size of that image. So you could, for example, convert it to an NS data object. You could then count the number of characters in that NS data object, and that would give you the, um, the, the, uh, the file size, for example. So anyway, here I'm setting the file size to 90. So let's say this was 90 kilobytes. And then I'm going to call our progress update. Um, in, again, in a real-world situation, you would be calling here maybe your, um, um, your method which uploads that image. Um, so we'll go over to our progress update method and I say if the progress float is less than one and the on off switch is on what I want to do is take my counter and, com and increase it by one every time then I want to um, because the progress bar basically is divided up into um, decimal places so 1.0 would mean that the bar is full um, and it's divided up then you know, 0 0.9 would be 90%, 0 0.8 would be 80%. So the simplest way of doing this is to take our um, counter and divide it by the file size. So if our counter is 1, then we do 1 divided by 90 would give us 0 0.01. So that would be um, our value that we use to update the progress bar. So progress bar dot progress is equal to progress float. And then we will perform this. So we keep on looping through this. So self perform selector progress update with object nil after delay 0 0.1 seconds. So every tenth of a second we will perform this method and if our progress float is still less than one and our switch is still on then again we will update our counter which means that uh, the counter would then become two so you would have two divided by 90 which would give you 0 0.02 and so on this so this will carry on looping until our progress indicator is is complete at, at one so when our progress float is equal to one then 
we will go into the else part of this method, which is we'll turn our switch off. So on off switch dot on is equal to no. We'll set our progress bar back to zero. We'll set our float back to zero, and we'll set our counter back to zero. So everything is back to where we started. And if we wanted to, we could throw in a UI alert view. So we could say UI alert view alert is equal to UI alert view alloc init with title. So we could say this is complete message. Your upload is complete. Delegate self, cancel button, OK. Other buttons, leave as nil. And then we say alert, show. So if we run this again, and we were to turn our app on, at the end of our progress bar, we should then get our alert view popping up telling us that the upload is complete. There we go, complete, your upload is complete. Now if I turn this off midway, you'll see that it goes to your upload is complete again because uh, what we're doing is switching this off and that means we're going to jump down to this method. Now of course if I turn that off that's like cancelling my upload so it wouldn't actually be complete so that UI alert view we would need to put in say another boolean value to detect if our progress float is greater um, sorry is less than one so what we could say here would be um, if progress float is less than 1.0 then we'll show an alert view that says cancelled your upload is cancelled and again we would set everything back to zero and then we would say else the upload is complete and then we set everything back to zero so on this occasion if we run our app If I cancel the upload, your upload is cancelled. If I let it run all the way to the end, we should get the upload is complete message. There we go, your upload is complete. So there we have it. That's basically how to use a UI switch, um, also show a UI alert view, and how to update a um, UI progress bar indicator. I hope this tutorial was of some use to you. You can download the project file from my uh, website. That's xcodetutorials.com. You can find the link below this video. If you found this video useful, please like it. And don't forget to follow my YouTube channel. It helps me out a lot. I'll see you in my next tutorial.